if you're buying any cards from TG Player, please use the link in the description to help support my content. This video is sponsored by Photon Store, TCG Player, Pokemon Card.io, and Card Market. Hello everyone and welcome back to our next video covering the Fusion Strike new cards that just got released this past Thursday on PTGO. Really cool looking cards and one of the most hyped cards for sure from the set is this Intillion VMAX. Yeah, it's a Rapid Strike Pokemon, meaning you can use Rapid Strike Energy to cover for the attack cost, which is fantastic. <clears throat> we also have the double gunner ability. Um, where you must discard a Water Energy card from your hand in order to use this ability. And once you're in your turn, you may choose two of your opponent's bench Pokemon and put two damage counters on each of them. Um, this is not limited to once per turn, so if you have two until the Max is in play, you could discard potentially two Water Energies and um, to place four damage counters on those bench Pokemon as well. Now this should help quite a ton with the G-Max Spiral attack doing 70 damage and you may put an energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand and if you do this attack does 70 more damage. So you can attach the Rub Strike energy, get it back immediately and do the full damage and that means if your opponent is not one KOing you, you can actually abuse Cheryl, which Cheryl allows you to heal damage from each of your evolution Pokemon and if you do you discard all energy from the Pokemon that were healed in this way. If you have no energy, you don't have to discard. All you do is heal. So in this 2k KO format of the VMAXs, um, being able to chain back to back to back to back shells in a way would be pretty fantastic. And we do have the full entail in line to help us search for those shells. And so, for example, in case we get more need out of a shell from our hand, we could end up evolving into a Drizzle with any of our Incense or Level Ball to search for the Cheryl. And then Octillery's Rapid Strike Search searches for the energy once again, and we should be good to go. So that's the um, idea behind the deck. Just out-resource your opponent by preventing KOs, and you will take KOs eventually. We also have the um, Rapid Strike Basculin as a backup attacker with Swarm the Wound attack, doing 30 damage plus 10 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Um, after you attack once with Intel and VMAX, you could potentially end up retreating through Tower of Waters um, into the Basculin and taking um, a knockout that way, not even risking your three prizes at all. And this could be effective if you didn't get to Cheryl the damage away that particular turn. Outside of that, we have a fan of waves to help us recover or get a little bit of um, a delay on our opponent's strategy with. Um, the reshuffle of the special energy card and it is searchable for our, um, with Octillery's ability as it is a rapid strike card which is really good and then we have maximum consistency with the quick bolts the level bolts and the incense along with four um, of our beloved Marnies now I did think of playing an Orangarine here to help like put Cheryl at the top and then if you get Marnie then you're guaranteed the Cheryl and then all you need to do is search for the rapid strike however um, Orangarine is obviously not a um, rapid strike pokemon you would need to play like either more switching cards or more scoop up nets or whatever in case your wrangler gets gusted so it doesn't seem worth the trouble but it's definitely an option to consider yeah and it could easily replace the basculin if you ended up um, needing to do that um, basculin also offers a nice way to deal with stuff like samazenta or um, the CDI if you run into that along with the until and engine you do have the quick shooting to build up the damage counters and basculin to swarm and take knockouts and the until and V also is a decent attacker with the aqua bullet attack however um, it's going to be really difficult to um, to get past a double samascent I feel because you will be um, getting your energies discarded we're only playing four water energies here to combine with the ability I'm also playing these in case like you're not able to find a rabbit strike you do want to be able to attach twice to an until and be able to attack and then they help with your ability anyways um there are other versions that are playing like four paths would be completely disregarding the ability not playing energies and just playing more um, resources i do like that concept as well but i figured if i'm going to showcase a card i want to showcase not only the attack but also the ability so how about we jump into some games and see how we do Alrighty, for our first match, we seem to be up against a metal deck. Um, so if this is Samazenta, it's gonna be a little difficult to um, to deal with, but we'll just see. You know? We shall just see what happens here. We're gonna get information from our opponent's Mulligan, and this, like the Cape of Toughness, yeah, this pretty much confirms it's a Seishan deck and or 
Um, seven cent attack, so going first, obviously really useful and really good. 2CA Mew, so extra price cards that we could potentially take, which is always good. Um, they should be playing only basic energy, so the Fan of Waves is a completely useless card at this point. Uh, we do find out that the Basculin is not priced, and uh, we did price a Sobble, but we do have the double quick shooting in Tillion, so those are going to be my best weapon against um, Samazenta for sure. And now this Water Energy, I do like attaching. Um, and I guess I'll just pass here. So we'll see, we'll see what we get next turn. You know? I think we're definitely up against Seishin. <coughs> Seishin Samacenta, so I do have to be worried about um, how I'm going to deal with that. I need to overwhelm with damage. All right, so we're gonna see a quick ball <coughs> right off the bat. There's a Seishin. Interesting that they're playing Cross Switcher. I guess Mew is a pretty cool card to be playing with Cross Switcher. Um, the Cape of Dumbness is not a big deal with 2 Heko anyways. Um, <clears throat> Alright, pretty good um, setup for my opponent. However, there's a Crobat. So already, <clears throat> already there's 5 prize cards in play. So perhaps dealing with the Zamazenta will be easier than expected and we'll see what this quick ball offers for my opponent and Rangru. So now there's six prizes. So unless my opponent's playing <coughs> Scoop Up Net, um, we can simply target down these six Pokemon or these six prizes and not have to worry about SM Center. So I'm already pretty happy about that. Already pretty happy about that. Now there's already a station threatening me. So that is a little scary. Decides to attach both energy, interestingly enough. And okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and escape rope here. See what my opponent brings up. Um, probably the Crobat, yep, that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm gonna search for Octillery. And then after the Marnie, if I get an energy, I search for the VMAX. If I get the VMAX, I search for an energy and I get to attack. So it's all good right here. The issue is I'm putting two Cheryls at the bottom of the deck. Um, and it seems like I'll be needing to tank a hit next turn off of that station. Right, I actually get both the energy and the rapid strike and nothing else. <laughs> and absolutely nothing else. So that is certainly not great. Um, oh, but I can search for the solo. I can't search for Drizzle. However, um, if I establish the Sobble, then that opens up any four Drizzle top decks, one Incense, apparently a price two, and four level balls as outs, along with Cheryl, as my deck got shuffled. So this is actually pretty okay, I would say. Not ideal, but not terrible either. All right. So the question is, which energy do I return? I reckon the Rapid Strike energy. I reckon I'm going to return the Rapid Strike energy. And then that sets up the Crobat sort of nicely for an eventual snipe with quick shooting or even my double gunner ability. So we'll see. <coughs> Stay <in. coughs> Sorry about that. Stadium gets immediately replaced. <clears throat> energy gets attached and my octillery gets bossed okay that's fair but that's also probably like best case scenario for me in a way um, <clears throat> um all right so we'll continue with this and so now i'm gonna attach the energy and i think how likely is it? It's just, if I don't get a Cheryl. I'm gonna G-Max Spiral and get back this energy. Hopefully that um, <clears throat> entices my opponent to potentially try and um, Marnie away the energy. Mm -mm -mm. The healing is definitely an issue, so 
Ooh, double cross switcher already in hand. Nice. No more cross switchers available though, that's for sure. <clears throat> we see a saucer. Alright. So I can't knock out this guy because they healed. I only do 140 damage. Can I please just top deck something now? Alright, that's pretty nice. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go this, and then I recognize Marnie, right? Um or do I grab Tower of Waters and then scoop up met my drizzle? And that way, I prevent the healing, ideally, and I return the water. I mean, maybe that's a little too fancy. I think I need a better board. If I had a stronger board, I would consider that for sure, but I definitely think I need a better board. So I'll do this, and then go ahead and Marnie. <clears throat> um, <it's>, okay, <laughs> so the end result is basically the same. Um, all right, this time around, I'm going to return the water energy because if for some reason the station stays active or if they don't get the stadium, then I can push the station to the bench and um, take a knockout on whatever is active or attack the station at least. And then I can use my double gunner ability in order to knock out the station. So that's the plan, at least um, that gets me potentially closer to winning the game right and i definitely should go boss onto the <coughs> station because then with my ability i knock out this guy this guy is at two damage counters away from getting ko'd and i mean the issue is definitely that um, i don't have a backup anything really but the bastolin could just end up knocking out the station here so this is gonna be an interesting turn for sure um all right so first things first i definitely think i just need to target that station so i'll do this and then i will use double gunner discarding the water two damage counters here two damage counters here so the crowbat is one ability away from getting knocked out gets me two prizes right here which is fantastic not a useful prize a useful prize okay because now, okay, I mean, do I Cheryl though? I think I have to Cheryl. So with the level ball, I'm gonna grab Remoraid. And then I grab Cheryl. Is that my play? No. Or is it? I only use boss. I'm gonna damage here. So actually, yeah, I'm gonna grab Remoraid. I think I just go for a quick ball, in fact. Use this, grab Drizzle. Yeah, because then I have a ping and I get access to two more prize cards. So... <coughs> and then off of this quick ball, I establish an Intellion. I'll have the energy in hand. Don't need the boss anymore. Uh, or do I want the Basculin, actually? Basculin means I need one less card. Mm. No, I think I'm okay setting up the Intellin. I have the game-winning cards in my hand, right? So my opponent needs to Marnie me. Otherwise, I go Evolve, Attach, Search for the VMAX and KO this, and I have pink KO on the Crowland. So that's the plan. We'll see if it ends up working out. This version of Station, obviously, an easier match than the um, Sama Center Focused. And there's a right hand, so no Marnie. So we've won the game. Nice. I'm glad I thought this through. I like this deck, it, like a lot of moving pieces. Um, definitely awkward setup, though. Awkward draws, but. Um, that's what you expect when you're playing the Pokemon trading card game in expert mode every time. 
Um, so yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. There's the cape. Oh, the cape. Okay. The cape stops me from winning this turn. However, however, um, after I knock out the station, like this makes it so that my opponent doesn't immediately lose, but they're also in a lot of trouble to the point where they don't threaten with anything at all. So I'll go ahead and evolve. I'll go ahead and evolve. I'll go ahead and attach. I'll go ahead and search for the VMAX. And then I have enough targets to where it doesn't really matter. Uh, it will take to a lot of pings to knock this guy out. Um, so now I regret discarding the other boss, of course. Um, probably should have discarded the Tower of Waters, but... How was I supposed to know? All right, I'm returning the energy because I have energy surge. I'm not threatened in case I get Marnied and in case I get attacked in the active, I would like to Marnie. Um, my hand is still dead. So I don't threaten game anytime soon. Oof, okay. Now the question becomes, um, is my opponent playing boss along with the cross switcher? The answer is yes, right? Okay, gear. There's a research. Nice. Wow, if I actually get attacked here, that's going to be pretty brutal. <laughs> and there's a high chance of that happening. There's a saucer left, 16 cards. Third ish chance to find it. Okay, it doesn't grab it. Do we get a pass turn here? Oh, discarding that boss, man. <laughs> that that cape on the crowbat, pretty good play for sure. Pretty good play. I mean, it also comes down to the fact that I haven't been able to bench any sobolds and like drawn any Marnies. I couldn't find the shell in time. It's just, it's been really awkward for sure. Really, really awkward. Uh, two switches down and an air balloon. They have to either sacrifice me or sacrifice your Ranguru. 20 times 20 points match Pokemon. You yeah, know, water energy would have been useful at this point to just get a little, one more ping on that Crobat. So I don't think I'm going to win this turn. Oh, what? What? Okay, that I did not understand. <sighs> 10 damage off the win here. I don't have a way to snipe, right? I don't have a way to snipe 10 extra damage. No, I do not. Um, so it is what it is. If they have boss, they win. If not, they lose. Nothing I can do about that. Um, I'll go ahead and quick shooting. I'll go ahead and double gunner. And G Max Spiral. 140, then they heal. If they have boss, they win, right? <clears throat> I tried. I tried my best. Pretty close game. Yep, there it is. With a slightly better hand, this would have been over um, ages ago, I feel. But just couldn't quite get the resources going at all. Uh, throughout the game. My my initial hand was awkward. I Marnie twice into awkward hands. Um, not much I could do about that. All right, let's jump into another game. All right, on to our next game with Intillion VMAX. If we're up against Victini, that's gonna be really good for us. Um, we, don't, we don't actually want to go a Victini VMAX, in fact. It's actually quite sad. All right, um, pretty good start, I would say. Pretty, pretty good start. So here's 
an issue. If I start in tail end and my opponent threatens a, a KO on my V, that could be a problem. So I'm actually going to start with a fast kill end. Um, the mulligan could indicate Victini, even more reason not to start in tail end. Uh, but we're actually up against Chandler VMAX. I'm not so sure what Chandler VMAX does. Poltergeist 70 for each trainer, I believe, maybe. <coughs> okay. Um, pretty good um, double draw right there. Chandler V, you get confused, and your opponent reveals their hand and 40 damage. Just a pass, no attachment. And they're up against a water deck, they're not gonna be happy. Yep. On to the next one. Alrighty. So on to our next opponent. Let's see if we can get a good game here going. We do lose the coin flip. So we're gonna be going second yet again. Against Routineer. Um, okay, pretty decent starting hand. I really like these leaves and this deck box. Okay, we're up against a Sixagoon. This could be the brand new Obsigoon deck, or this could just be like Jolteon or Leafian. There's a few decks, or even Dragon Bolt, right? There are a few decks that are playing Color and Sixagoon for that extra damage counter, which can potentially be quite good right see a level ball this could confirm um, what deck we're up against we see a sobble we see a path to a peak I think this pretty much confirms Dragapult but it could still be the brand new obstacle from the from fusion strike incense into the drizzle definitely disagree with that one all right, so we're gonna attach, we're gonna level ball for a rim raid, and we are going to quick wall for a sobble. And I'm gonna quick wall, quick wall, I wanna keep this scoop up net, you never know, especially if we're up against Dragapult. Um, scoop up netting would be pretty important. And so I know my opponent's hand is not that great. I could Marnie. Um, I do take away a Drizzle. The chances of them finding another Drizzle are pretty high. Though if Marnie against me is any indication, like, that's never a guarantee. So, I'm gonna go ahead and Marnie. Just get myself um, some more resources here. And, I mean, decent enough hand. We're just gonna Surf right here. And then next turn, we can Drizzle for Incense, for Octillery. Octillery grabs me the VMAX. I have a Cheryl. Um, I have a Tower of Waters. So there's another Incense for the Drizzle. So same play, except now they're down an extra Incense. This Shade Dealings could be for a Research or a Marnie, um, depending on how good my opponent's cards are. Um, it seems like they're good enough to the point where they want to conserve them, so we're going to get Marnied ourselves. And finally, we'll find out what we are up against. Oh, we're up against Jolton. Okay. <laughs> um, so that's a little bit scary, for sure. That is scary. Okay, so they played down their whole hand, so I'm, now I'm really surprised about the Marnie. No, I am actually very surprised about the Marnie. I'm also surprised about the Snorlax. Drizzle? No, Sixagon, okay. Yeah, so I'm really glad I kept the 
the scoop up net. So a basic attachment and a pass. All right. So we're definitely gonna evolve. The issue is my hand is dead, right? That is the big issue right here. So I'm gonna get the VMAX. And <clears throat> two card hand for my opponent. I need to G Max spiral the energy back. All right. Get a level ball, so that means we get out of this situation at least. Two card hand. We're weak to lightning. Our artillery gets sniped. <clears throat> but we do have the Cheryl. <clears throat> Then the issue <clears throat> does become the fact that 280 isn't enough, so I will need double subble into a potential quick shooting. Snipe. And we see the shade, the arms and tailion, okay. So goodbye artillery for sure. All right, could buy artillery for sure. <clears throat> and we get more need out of our energy. And the Cheryl. Okay, I got the Cheryl back, I got the energy, that's good. That is good. Alrighty. So, um, I'll get Drizzle, yeah, I'll get Drizzle into Drizzle into Cheryl, right? That's the plan. Because then I have this Shady Dealings in Tillion. I'm guaranteed to survive the next attack no matter what. Really glad I drew this. That was a difficult card to get, and especially with two of them <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck. All right, so then I will go ahead and do things in the right order. <laughs> Cheryl first, get the attachment, and then I will go G Max Spiral. So, best case scenario, Drizzle doesn't get sniped. Realistically, though, it's gonna be rough here. The fact that my opponent doesn't have another Jolton is good. Oh, <laughs> they just have their own raw Cheryl. No oh boy, and they got the scoop of net off of the speed to snipe my drizzle. <sighs> Yikes. Uh, to say we're in trouble would be the understatement of the year. Ooh, that's actually potentially very good. Um, okay, definitely going for a Cheryl. I was going to search for it anyways. And then I'll go ahead and attach. Okay, now I evolve. And I grab you and Marnie? No. I honestly, I need to, I might need to just grab Cheryl. Yeah, the final wave seems like a luxury. Just gonna grab Cheryl and Marnie. I have another Cheryl next turn. And then I Marnie hopefully into a water energy after I escape rope. Yeah, that's the plan. That is the plan. All right. This makes my opponent warning me even more enticing, right? Because they know I have the shell in hand and I have no way to search for it. They played two Cheryls and they just had them raw in their hand? Are you serious? <laughs> I 
What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbreaking believable. No need to even search for them. <clears throat> okay. All right. All right. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna touch. I can't scoop up net. Otherwise, I could just lose next turn. So I'm just gonna Marnie, losing my escape rope and the boss. Both cards which I would have possibly needed, but no, now I'm dead. Now I am 100% dead. I needed another Intellion. All right, rough game. Rough game, rough draws, and you're up against weakness, and your opponent has back-to-back shells. <laughs> That's kind of tough to come back from.